All right, Coach, a very convincing win over the visiting Los Angeles Sparks in the first game back at the house in quite some time. Uh, how about just a little overview of the game from the head coach's perspective? Well, I thought um, we came with good energy in the first half. I think uh, when we run like that, then we, we can score in bunches. Uh, it also it energizes our defense. So I, I think it was a good first half. I was a little disappointed in the second half. We started walking the ball to the floor, turned the ball over 12 times in the second half. That, that's that, We can't get in those bad habits. But I think overall, we got a, a really good, solid effort across the board. I got some playing time for Slocum, which uh, she came in and did a really nice job. I got some playing time for Jisoo. Tremendous defensive effort on her part tonight. Uh, so the role players really shined forth tonight. I was really happy about that one. You know, you know, Jackie's improving every day. Liz, uh, you know, is, is Liz. Asia, we all know what she can do, you know, and Chelsea Gray is learning her way now. Uh, she has, you know, and both on the ball, being, being the lead guard and being a two guard. So it's, it's, it's still a working process. We're, we're our whole team is still a working process. We're learning about each other. We're making good progress. I will say that you know, more so than I thought to this point, but overall, yeah, okay. It's, it's only game three, but uh, I think our potential is, is showing forth. And, you know, missing Plum uh, hurts us from a chemistry perspective, but others stood up. Doug Feinberg. Coach, good to see you. You said before the season that it was going to be a work in progress. You just said this again. Are you more advanced right now than you thought you might be three games in the season for your work in progress? I don't know. Um, I, I, I want to say yes, but then I don't. I see some things that I have to say I don't know because, you know, we, now we have, you know, this is game one of six without a plum. So uh, you really don't know what you got. I know that Asia is very confident. I know that Jackie is very confident uh, in who they are and how they're going to go about their business. I know that Chelsea uh, has to learn us, um, but at the same time, she's making passes that, you know, nobody else can make for us so that that's she's finding open players on time for easy baskets. Yeah, I, I, pro I probably am a little more advanced than I thought we would be at this point in time, but I think we have a long way to go. Um, you know, getting Liz the ball on time is, is something we have to learn a little bit more. Uh, getting McCoy and Williams on track. I, I prefer to have her come off the bench and watch the flow of the game, but in a starting lineup, she gets a little lost because we're going inside so much. So when she gets on track, uh, and as a consistent shooter, then I think we're going to be very dangerous. Thanks, Coach. All right, I know some of you uh, have difficulty raising your hands virtually, so some of these I'm going to guess on. Sam Gordon? So could you um, – what – you said Jackie's more confident. You can definitely see that. What, where do you feel like she's made the biggest strides from, from year two to year three? Um, just her, her, her confidence in who she is uh, and, and what she can accomplish. Last year was a great learning experience. It was in a bubble, but it still wasn't with a full squad. Um, having Liz out there with Asia, I mean, they command so much attention from the defense. It opens the floor up so much for someone like Jackie to drive. Or you saw Plum drive the other night. Uh, it, it creates open lanes for everybody. And Jackie's really good at her physical strength and getting that lane is raising on people. That's what I told her on the first day she walked in the building here as a first round draft pick. Uh, I, I think that, you know, she's just confident. She just knows what she's doing and knows what she's about and she's going and doing it. And it's a matter of fact, she shouldn't get emotional about it. She just goes and plays and says, this is what I do. This is how I'm going to do it. And she's been very successful. Jesse. Hey, Bill, kind of same on that same line though, with Jackie, you know, back to back really solid games from her. How much does that kind of change the offense when she gets involved the way that she is and kind of connecting with the clip that she has been? I mean, you're talking about Jackie again? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Jackie is, our, is a scorer now. In the past, she was a facilitator in her first year. She was the lead guard and passed the ball all the time. Last year, she learned, she came off the bench as an energy player and, you know, and, and did her thing. Uh, this year, you know, it, it, you never want to see somebody get hurt. You know, we feel really bad for Angel, and we really could use Angel. But, you know, sometimes it opens up us up for their players. So now Jackie goes out there, and Jackie's a very highly conditioned athlete. So she can play 30, 35 minutes, um, no problem, at, at peak performance. So it really gave her the opening to really show everybody in this, in this world, in this league, who she is and what she's capable of doing, and she's taking advantage of it.
And if, if I could hop in one more real quick, Jiggy, um, with uh, Chelsea Gray, I mean, is this kind of what you expected uh, when you were getting her? Yeah, it is. You know, making plays, making great passes. Um, she's always been able to make big shots. Her three ball is, you know, struggled last year, but I think in this place, they're going to sag off her a lot because of the big. She'll have more open three balls than not. Uh, she still has to learn that we are a, a very high paced team. So when she walks the ball up the floor and turns her back, that's not who we are. We are about push the ball up and let her people do it. So that's, a, that's where she's going to have to learn about us a little bit more. And we'll, we'll learn about her too. We'll get her opportunities for her to handle the ball and pick and rolls and, and more like that. She had six assists tonight, plus, you know, 18 points and five rebounds. That's a hell of a stat line for, you know, 30 minutes. Appreciate it, Bill. Nick. Hey coach, congratulations on the win. I uh, wanted to get your thoughts on what you thought about Raquana Williams, and especially in that second unit. Um, what did you see out of her, especially on the defensive end tonight? Well, look, it's unfortunate. <laughs> it's fortunate for Raquana in the starting line. It's unfortunate for us. I think she'd be a very solid bench player for us. But I have to play her in the starting lineup right now. Uh, and she's still learning the, the hesitancy between we have such great dominant interior play and Jackie going off, uh, thinking she has to pass versus thinking she do what she does best, and that's shoot the ball in a hole. Um, so a little bit of thinking going on there that I'm trying to work on right now to make sure that her job is to score uh, and to make three balls. And, and when she gets hot, she can get really red hot and put pressure on the other team. So that's one of the working processes. She has to feel comfortable where she fits in the system. And our teammates are very confident of her. The coaches are very confident of her. She just has to understand her inner own self and be comfortable with that. And that's still a working process. John, Coach, talk a little bit about the importance of the balance scoring that you got tonight with uh, five players in double digits. I'm sorry, say it again. The balance uh, talk, scoring. Talk a little bit about the balance scoring that you got uh, tonight. Well, how important we, are. we have we have so many weapons offensively that you know everybody's going to do their thing. Our offense is set up for a free flowing, you know, attacking style. Uh, we put structure in place. We won't run out of plays. We put basketball structure in place for players to use their God given talent. And they're, and they're really good basketball minds in order to get open shots. Um, the best part about us is, you know, you can't set your defense for any one player because we have other players. So, you know, you, you normally Liz would be double and triple teamed all the time and, and sagged off of you can't hit the ball. They can't do that with us. You know, Adrian Wilson there and Jackie Young and Chelsea Gray and Brandon Williams and Kelsey Plum. So it opens the entire floor for a myriad of other opportunities for all the players. And, we talked about when it's you, do it and be efficient about it. Uh, and I think that's what so far we're finding. The first game was a, a throwaway. We didn't know what the hell we were doing. But the last two games have been very efficient, shooting over 50%. If we do that, we're damn hard to beat. All right, last question for Coach Lambeer, Cole. Hey, Coach, I know you hit on this a little bit earlier, but it seemed like after every miss or – after every turnover that you guys forced, you guys are really pushing the ball in transition, looking for some early offense. Is that something that's just part of your team's DNA and that's part of the game plan? That's who we are. Uh, we want to push the ball. We want to score. Uh, it's 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 couple fold. One is you know we we have great bigs that can run, uh, and so when your bigs can run like that and get down the floor and the guards push the ball, the defense can't get set. So you can attack on the inside before anybody can get to you in double teams or, or, or shrinkage of, of the floor. That's the big positive for us. Also, you know, we can get easy layups because we have Chelsea Gray finding people, or Jackie Young finding people, or Jackie Young attacking. Uh, so pushing the ball. And also, the better part about it is when you have a lot of great players, you know, and everybody wants to score and everybody wants to have maintain their status, so to speak. And the youngsters want to get enhance their status. The veterans want to keep their status. So if you go out there in a 72-70 game, you're not, no one's going to get their points. You go out there and score 95 points. Everybody shares the wealth and everybody feels happy. So I think it's a combination of all of the above. And so far, we're being able to accomplish that. Thank you, Coach. Thanks a lot, Coach. Morning. Coach Fisher has started his press conference. We'll wait about three, four minutes and bring you Asia Wilson.